Hey guys, Sam Jim here. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about a subject that has come up in my local area um, that involves two students that are special needs and uh, were going to be barred from attending a graduation, uh, their graduation, uh, because they didn't uh, pass certain a certain qualification for normal interest, interest exam, exit exams, I'm sorry, not interest exam, exit exams for high schools in California. Um, just, just a few thoughts on it. I mean, well, first of all, they're, they are going to walk because the state stepped in and said you better let them walk because um, it's wrong what you, you're trying to do. So they are going to let them walk and they are going to let them get their certificates, which I'm glad for the students. And congratulations to you students if, if family members of them are watching. Um, you know, I, my congratulations to you guys. It's awesome. Um, but I just want to say something because it really, it really upsets me that the school district were, was able to say, you know, you can't do that because, um, Graduation is a right now privilege. Now, that may be true in some points. Like, um, a normal kid getting all lefts and wants to graduate. You have to earn that, you have to earn that right to go there. You can't just, you know, say, hey, I want to go. <coughs> well, you got all lefts, so what? But I want to go. It doesn't work that way. However, however, there's always an exception to the rule. And just like in everything else in life, there's always an exception to every rule. If a student is mentally um, unable to do certain things, or physically unable to do things, should that should that be penalized? Should that should that be a penalty for them to, um, for not to able to uh, get to graduate with their fellow students? You know, I don't think so. Now, I I think I don't think they are totally in the wrong here. Because here's the thing, the family who of these two girls. I had made made a choice. They either could have chosen the harder stuff, the harder path, which they chose, or they could have chosen an easier path, which the probably this whole situation could have been avoided. However, um, the family did chose that, did chose the harder path, and um, you know they took a risk doing that. Um, but they didn't pass. However, here's the thing. You always want your children, any anybody, you always want your children, your students, your, uh, just any, any, any child, you always want them to strive for to do the best they could. And you always want to try to challenge them to do better things in life. Now, just because they didn't pass that certain exam or pass, didn't pass that certain requirement, I don't think they should be penalized into not graduating because, um, you know, they tried their best for it. They tried to do something that was, um, you know, some people said they couldn't, you know, couldn't do. Now, just imagine if they had had done that. Just imagine if they had had passed the exam and uh, was able to do something like that. That'd be amazing. That'd be that'd be awesome. But unfortunately, they didn't pass, and the school district was saying, "Well, since you didn't do it, you can't graduate. Sorry. Even though you're special needs, even though you know it's, uh, you know it's really tough for you guys. Sorry, you can't do that. You can't pass. You can't graduate with us. A little unfair." To me, at least, because you know, 
maybe they didn't understand you know some of that stuff that they that they had you know, they they were, they were being taught um yeah totally unfair because i work with these type of students um on a daily basis monday through friday and these people are these students are very cool people really big hearts uh, they try their best every day um it's a struggle for them to do some stuff sometimes and um you know sometimes you just got to give them a break because um you know th they do have disabilities and it's not like they you know can physically or mentally do something so you got to give them a break and i just i, I i'm sad because this the school district um couldn't find it in their hearts to you know let them um walk even though you know they're special needs students you gotta give them a break every once in a while guys and i'm talking to the the school district not to you know my subscribers or you know my viewers um yeah to give them a break you know I hope in future situations like this, if something were to happen like this, I hope they find it in their heart to let them walk anyway, to change the rule because, you know, they they tried their best and they deserve, you know, a reward for all their hard work because a lot of the times they don't understand, a lot, a lot of students like that don't understand, you know, what's at stake. You know, they don't know. Sometimes they don't realize that hey, if I don't pass this, um, you know, I don't get to walk with my class. You know, it just doesn't register to them, and it's sad because the school district took it upon themselves to say, "Well, oh, sorry, you didn't realize it. Oh well, you weren't gonna. You're not gonna walk." Too bad, so sad. But I'm glad the state stepped in and let them overrule the county and uh, let them walk. So, good job, California, state of California. I'm glad. Good job. I'm really happy for that. And <laughs> and just when I was losing faith in in government, they finally did something good, something right. So, um, good job. Oh boy, I'm sorry you guys wanted to hear, you know, you didn't want to hear me rant on about, about this and um, a lot of past couple videos have been me ranting about something and uh, less about fun stuff. But um, as soon as I get some cool stuff, I'll be getting, you know, right doing more, um, more fun type of reviews and more, more reviews and, um, you know, fun more fun videos since I can get the equipment for that type of stuff <laughs> okay guys make sure you guys rate comment subscribe um, and any hateful or spiteful comments will be deleted anyway uh, this is time Jim signing off take care guys bye this time it's time for me to get